be solely with your wits and your fellow crew members to maneuver through whatever hardship was thrown in your path and to be able to pull up an island in the horizon. That's what he's done. And with that, I want to introduce Lionel Thompson. Hawaii is in decline. 
ecologically, <coughs> I would say socially. I would say when I was a kid in third grade, all us friends would get together, we would walk from New Valley to Einerheim School because it was safe. Um, today, the conversation that I've had with my neighbors where I live in New Valley is that um, lock your doors. I grew up in a, in, in a family where dogs and cats were members of the family. They don't know how to open and close doors, so you leave the door open. Um, and now it's like, um, it's getting less and less, I think, safe. Um, having said that, um, you can understand, even though I don't have the navigational skills to the future of Hawaii, I am absolutely concerned. And that's why I'm honored to be here with you all tonight. My assumption is to some degree you are too. Um, because today, it was interesting that in the in that conference put on by the state the vision for 2050, there was 12 high school students that were asked to, to participate. And the single question was asked, how many of you want to come home after you've power school? And 100% said they're not going to come home. Now, that's not a statement of our time. I don't know what it is. If we don't have the ability to bring our children home to their homeland, um, something's terribly wrong. And the reasons were interesting, high cost of living, no opportunity. And Hawaii is not a place that's innovative. So what is it? It's, it's a place where the, I sense that we're just looking at the notion that sustainability is really maximum sustainable yield. That we're going to just push and push and take and take till we get to the edge. And instead of maximum sustainable yield being something that grows our grows our mana, grows our power, and strengthens us. Uh, it's, a, it's a worrisome time. It's, it's a scary time. But what I will present tonight is, um, and I hope it has some meaning, is my teachers that, that are great visionaries, that were those who were confronted with challenges, such as today, like bird raises, and they were successful. You know what's an extraordinary time for me is in my world was the seventies. It was a time of excitement and optimism. Uh, it was a time when uh, what you were seeing as a very important place on earth. It, it was like the time when East West Center was thriving with the notion of the crossroads, of uh, bridging West and East. It was the time when I remember futurists from around the world, international futurists would come here to get together and see that the possibilities and the potential for Hawaii to be something extraordinary to the planet. And, um, it, it was a time of optimism, it was a time of hope, and I don't know what happened to that, but they left. And, uh, I don't sense that today. But back in the 70s, um, one of the great challenges, and in hindsight I would say this, uh, was that in the changing Hawaii, things Hawaiian and in its culture, and in its language, and its history, and its heritage, was getting to the point of being so much forgotten that it was moving towards the edge of extinction. Because in Hawaii, I just think that back then, again, that it wasn't valued, because things Hawaiian, if they were valued, they would have been taught. 